Ooh, it's just barely gonna make it. This pop-up camper is the Forest River Flagstaff model number 206 LTD. It has a gross vehicle weight rating of 2,291 pounds, a height of just 5 feet 4 inches, a length of 20 feet 2 inches, and it sleeps up to 4 people. First thing you'll notice about this pop-up camper is that something very important is missing. So stick around because we'll show you at the end what it is. But when you first walk in, you've got one side of the pop-out in the out position. Then you have your dinette that wraps around into your kitchen area. And then we have the pop-out on the other end of this pop-up camper. Now this particular end is 48 inches by 80 inches wide. I already came through and measured everything up with my handy dandy tape measure. So you could get one person to sleep here pretty comfortably. Maybe two kids could sleep here as well. Um, and the mattress in here, you know, these typically come with pretty thin uh, foam type mattresses. Um, they're nice and comfortable. I would prefer to see a heated mattress in here because then you could extend your camping season a little bit. Anyway, as we roll on around through here, you've got your kitchen area, which includes a nice sink, which really has sort of a bathroom faucet in here. Uh, I don't know about you guys, I kind of like to see a taller gooseneck so you can wash dishes and things like that. Got plenty of countertop space. And then underneath, a little bit of storage underneath the countertop and even the sink area. And then below that, we have Other side. the refrigerator. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm glad you knew. Now, this is a really small fridge. There's no freezer option or anything like that in here, but for stowing away some food for a weekend getaway, I think you've got plenty of space inside there. Just across from the kitchen, you've got this additional storage area here. You could sit on top of this countertop area or just use it as extra countertop space. You'll notice sitting on here, there is a propane style griddle and this hooks up on the outside of your camper and there's a quick connect propane line. I'll show you that when we go outside. But underneath of here, you've got lots of storage space underneath and behind these doors. And then your kitchen utensils can fit in this top drawer. It's even got a little divider for everything. And then below that, another drawer for additional storage. So here I am sitting at the dinette, which could easily seat four people. We've actually got the table dropped down into the bed position and you can take these back cushions, lay them on top of the table and you've got another spot for one person to sleep here. So I would say you could sleep four people very comfortably in here, maybe five if you can get two small kids on the pop out on the other end. Now, right behind me here is a larger area and this one is uh, 80 inches by 60 inches. So you have a full queen size bed inside this end of the pop-up camper. So this is great. Mom and dad or husband and wife can sleep over here and got plenty of room. So two adults can sleep over here. And then there's even more storage here to my left. This cabinet opens from both directions. And so you have plenty of ways to reach in and take advantage of all this storage in here. And now for the one thing that is missing, and that is there's no door. And that's because this door is still in the storage position. And in a pop-up camper, since the roof folds down, you can't have a door here. It's got to be able to be removed and stowed away. And the door folds right up against the ceiling and it stows right there. So when you lower your pop-up camper roof, everything goes and it stows away just right. This is where your propane griddle or grill would hook up outside of your pop-up camper. And right below that in the perfect position is a quick connect propane valve for easy use. Two great things about pop-up campers. One is they're super light. This one is actually only under 1600 pounds dry weight. So you can easily tow it with a Jeep or a, even a small or mid-sized SUV. And the other great thing is the roof folds down and so you can stow it inside your garage. This teardrop camper is the New Camp Tag XL Boondock. It weighs in at 2,200 pounds. It has a height of 6 feet 3 inches, a length of 13 feet 7 inches, and it sleeps two people. So here I am inside this camper, and it is nice and cozy in here, I have to say. I'm sitting up here towards the back of the camper, 
and you'll notice that it's got a nice air conditioning unit here plenty of storage cabinetry as well you can open these doors and you have plenty of storage in there for yourself and then it's even got a little heater in here as well so you can use this camper in the winter time or you know late spring uh, into the fall and extend your camping season as much as you would like to a couple other really nice features in here are the window shades and you'll notice these are really just high quality you can pull them down so that when your windows are open you have some screening or you can pull them up to get your privacy shade when you're in here sleeping at night um, pretty much everything in here runs on 12 volt power except for the air conditioning unit everything else though runs on 12 volt including the power fan which is up on the roof so you can open your windows let's say you're at a campground or, or boondocking somewhere you don't have electricity can't run your AC but the uh, power fan does run on 12 volts so you can open your windows turn on the power fan and get some nice cross ventilation in here now as far as the size of this goes you guys know I'm 5'11 and I can lay down in here and I'm you know pretty comfortably I fit in here just fine and just to give you some measurements let's see what we got here totally I think we're gonna end up right around six feet I'm losing my tape measure <laughs> it's about six feet six inches and then the other direction in here we have oh just about six feet wide so you know a decent amount of space in here now another really cool feature is that there is a door on each side Susan's standing in that doorway recording us and then this door opens up also and a really neat feature that I don't think many people know about is that it's got a false floor in here so you can actually lift the floor and then stow away all your valuables you could put clothes under there whatever you would like to do towards the front end of the camper you have this little headboard area here and it's got a little ledge up top and on each end there is a receptacle and a USB port and so if you need to plug in and charge your phone overnight you can rest it up here and easily do that and below that there's this little storage area here where you know these little doors just slide across very simple I guess you could store your socks and underwear up there I really don't think you can get much in there up above here you've got some nice reading lights so if you're laying in bed reading at night you can turn them on one on each side and then you have a little bit of open storage up above now one other feature I really like about this camper is this big window in the front so when you're laying here at night you can look out your window you can see the stars it's very nice you can also open the window like we have it now and get lots of fresh air in here it's got a shade nightshade blind so you can black it out or it's just got a window screen so you can leave the windows open at night and enjoy the fresh cool air the doors have a really cool feature too so when you're getting ready to go to bed at night and you want to black out the light you just turn this little plastic thing and there you go blackout shades at their finest so here we are outside behind the trailer and you'll notice that it has a nice outdoor kitchen setup the nice thing about the way this door opens too is that you have a little bit of cover overhead so if you have some bad weather at least you're under cover while you're working at your kitchen and it's also got this nice light so when you're outside in the evenings you're well lit and ready to go now starting on this side we've got a little open shelf up top countertop down below with a receptacle and USB ports and another 12 volt as well that you could use you have a two burner propane cooktop I love the backsplash behind it it's got this nice little stainless steel grid pattern very very sharp then you have some utensil hangers here and a sink off to the side down below your sink you've got plenty of storage underneath of here so you can stow away all of your food goods and then you've got a microwave oven pretty decent size for this size camper and then this little drawer here I would use this to place a cooler on here and it'll slide in and out nice and smooth this camper is the Encore Rogue model number 12 RK it has a gross vehicle weight rating of 2485 pounds a height of 6 feet 11 inches a length of 11 feet and it sleeps two people so here I am inside the Rogue 12 RK and we're calling it a Rogue it's spelled R-O-G and I've never seen this one before so I really don't know if it's called a Rogue or a Rog but I'm gonna go with Rogue it sounds more rugged and off-road and all that fun stuff but as you can see it's got this nice comfy mattress in here that you can fold it into a sofa setup which is how it is right now and it's really very comfortable or this can also lay flat out 
Uh, so that's how you would sleep in it at night. Now, one other really cool feature about this camper is it's all aluminum, all metal. There's no wood inside here at all. Uh, so it's a really great camper in terms of longevity and things like that. It doesn't have wood that could rot over time. Now up top you'll notice it's got this open storage area with some accent lighting inside which is nice so you can see everything in there. This is all metal also. It's really well built. Below that you've got a couple of reading lights here. You've got your uh, receptacles with uh, USB ports so you can plug in and charge things. And then there's a couple of really nice corner shelves as well for storage. Now on each side there's a window so you can get a nice cross breeze in here in addition to having the doors open but you've got these nice blackout shades that pull down and then in addition to that there's some uh, storage on the side with some cargo netting so you can you know tuck things away in there. You'll also notice over my head here that there is air conditioning in here. Now this is a big confusing point for a lot of people. Um, dealers included, because we ask them all the time, does it come included with air conditioning? Now, when a dealer orders a trailer from a manufacturer, sometimes the dealer will pick the options that they want to come included, like air conditioning. So this is an option that can be added on, but by the time it gets to the dealer, it's already here and it's included in the price that they'll show you, but it is an optional feature. One other really great design in these campers is that it has a door on each side. So you can open and close, hop on and out, and that's a great feature so you can get in and out of here from either side. Now up front here, we've got a really nice big storage area overhead. Again, all metal. It's got accent lighting built in, and the storage area is kind of carpeted so things don't bounce around and bang around and make a lot of noise. This area here is where you would hang your TV. And also, since you can see Leo's Vacation Center, uh, we want to congratulate them on being in business for 50 years this year. Congratulations to those guys. They have been great partners of ours. They allow us to come to their dealership all the time, shoot video of different models that they have. And really, you just won't find a nicer bunch of people that give great personal customer service to all their customers. In fact, Susan's first pop-up camper she ever bought was at Leo's camper 20 years ago. Now, also in here, you'll notice that all your control panels are off to the side over here. You've got a little uh, AM FM radio and all that fun stuff. Now, one other really neat feature in here, you'll notice that there is a propane heater in here. And so this will blow really nice hot air out into your camper. So if you want to go off-roading or extend your camping season, you can stay nice and toasty warm in here. And then behind here is a very, very large storage closet, which is really huge for a small camper this size. There's a nice big comfy mattress in here. It's 60 inches wide and 80 inches long. So it is a real queen size bed inside of this camper. So this camper has a rear kitchen set up and it's really a pretty good size rear kitchen. The first thing you'll notice is there are some inline double burner propane stove back here. Then you've got a decent amount of counter space and then it has, you know, a good size rectangular sink with a really nice gooseneck faucet with a separate sprayer so you can wash your dishes and what have you. Uh, next to that, we have a nice big storage cabinet and these are all metal no wood in here at all this is all made out of metal and then you have your refrigerator which does have a little spot up top so you can make some ice cubes but this is a good size fridge for a small travel trailer that's for sure next to that we've got some storage down below the sink really nice and big in there you've got a thousand watt inverter in here so everything can run on battery power and then you've got your microwave oven now also up inside of here You've got a little bit of storage back here. So again, it's all metal. And then you've got a couple speakers built in so you can enjoy some music. Now, one nice feature that you can add on to this camper are these awnings. And you can have them on each side or one side, or you can have this shorter one for the back of the camper. So you can set your awning up and be protected from the elements while you're using your outside kitchen. There's even a good amount of outdoor storage out here where you can stow away all your outside items. Now, this camper with the roof rack measures in at about six feet, 11 inches. A standard garage door is eight feet wide and seven feet tall. So it can fit inside of a garage, that's for sure. 
and it even fits if you have the air conditioner on the roof because the air conditioner is lower than the height of the roof rack. Now, speaking of the roof rack, there are a ton of options that you can go online and purchase to augment your roof rack. You can get a roof tent, you can add additional awnings on here. They have kayak racks, all kinds of neat stuff that you can add on and stow things up on the roof while you're traveling down the road. Now, since this camper has propane in it for the heat, it also has a quick connect propane hookup. So if you have a propane grill, you can set it right on up outside your camper and have an easy way to supply it with propane. Also, they do have an off-road package that you can purchase with this camper. It gives you bigger tires. Uh, the suspension's higher up off the ground. It gives you a lot of nice features. And most importantly, it is Sasquatch proof. This hard-sided pop-up camper is the A-Liner Classic with a sofa bed. It has a gross vehicle weight rating of 3,000 pounds. The height is 4 feet 7 inches tall. It has a length of 15 feet and it can sleep up to 4 people. When you first walk into this camper on the right-hand side, you'll notice the dinette area, which wraps right around into the kitchen area. And then at the back of the camper is where the sofa and bed are located. Now, normally this is set up just like a sofa, like I'm sitting here now, so it's nice and comfy. Three people could sit on here very, very easily. On one side over here, you've got a cable rough in and a 12 volt, 12 volt port, as well as your thermostat for your heater. On the other side, you have a electrical receptacle and two USB ports. And let's take a look at what the bed looks like when you convert the sofa into your bed. Why are you shooting? <laughs> <laughs> Stop shooting my butt. Go ahead. So I went ahead and just quickly converted the sofa into the bed. I didn't want to do it on camera because you'd just be looking at my butt the whole time. But anyway, this, <laughs> this thing is about 58 inches wide. It's 74 inches long, so it's almost a short queen size bed, but there's plenty of room for two adults to be able to sleep up at this end of the camper. The kitchen area consists of a small sink with some storage underneath. And then next to that, we have a really good size mini fridge for a camper this small. It even has an ice tray location so you can make some ice cubes. Now on top of the countertop here is a two burner propane stove. It doesn't really go here. It's supposed to mount outside of the camper on the side of it and there's a quick connect propane attachment out there for you so it's very very easy to attach and set up outside your camper the microwave is located directly across from the kitchen sink and it sits in the cabinet which is located right next to the front door of the trailer now in the dinette area uh, you'll notice that this freestanding table can either be set up in here or you can take it outside and set it up out there as well but this also converts into a bed just take the table pull the legs up, turn it sideways, put it down, rearrange the seat cushions, and then one more person can fit in this spot to be able to sleep in here as well. So just outside the door of this camper is where your two burner propane stove would hook up, and then your quick connect is right down below. If you'd like to check out some other really small campers that can probably fit inside your garage, check out our box down below and hit the movie called Six Micro Mini Campers, all under 2,000 pounds. And we'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs> he probably wants to check them all. It'll take a while. I got to screw them up for a while first.